Happy Valentine's and welcome to another Puzzling Time video. Just um, a fairly short video today, I'm actually going to solve a puzzle for you. Now I'm not going to solve this uh, wooden detanglement, this is just here because we've got a lovely heart shape and uh, it's relatively simple I'm sure. Most people won't struggle too much with that one. This is uh, a mole, which is a Hanayama cast puzzle. It's got our male and female um, signs to kind of detangle and take out of the heart. But this is the one I'm going to look at solving. It's by uh, Noboru Hayashi, and it is a detanglement puzzle called Arrow and Heart, which was a 2020 IPP detanglement uh, entrant into the kind of competition. Um, and he makes these wonderful um, puzzles, which are usually made out of, kind of two or more um, nails. And they're actually quite difficult, some of them. Some of them are extremely difficult. This is the paperwork that came with it, and it's stapled. So this might be the solution, and it might be pictures. So I've never actually opened it. Um, this is how it came. Uh, if you can read Japanese, you can probably read some of these uh, characters. But I'm going to show you how to solve this. Um, so if you don't want to see the solution, you can look away now. Um, when we solve this, we can see straight away we've got this loop, with this very small gap, and this very small hole, which means that there's no sensible way of getting it off this end here. It won't be able to slide past, and if it did slide past this section, it would get stuck on that nail head. So we're going to have to go around, and that is easy said than done. It's, you can't just force this past, you actually have to find the, the perfect position, just like this, for it to move past. You can see it just moves past effortlessly. Then we get stuck again, because we can't get past, and we have to find that perfect position again. And the perfect position is just up here. And I'm making this look very simple because I've solved this a number of times, but trust me, finding these exact positions is quite frustrating you can be trying for ages to find the correct position until you know where they are and then the puzzle will just slide apart and I think for this last one it's something like this I need to get the points just lined up and you can see even though I've solved this and the first two steps went swimmingly this final step I'm having to work out. There we go. Let's come apart. So these are not easy. I mean, I, I've made that look quite easy, but it's actually probably a good 10 minute solve for what is the easiest of his puzzles that I've got. I chose it because it's heart shaped. Um, and it's definitely very interesting. I definitely want to share if you have a non-puzzling significant other or someone who's new to puzzling or new to your hobby uh, it's a lovely little gift kind of to uh, give to them so i hope you enjoy watching that short video and i'll see you all very soon bye for now